Welcome to this series of videos about the sound effects used by our drumming peers 100 years ago. In this video, we're looking at animal sound effects that are related to the cuica. And my special guest today is William F. Ludwig III, grandson of the co-founder of the Ludwig & Ludwig Drum Company. Welcome, Bill. Thank you. It's great to be here. So why don't you tell us a little bit about the dog bark and how that instrument is built? Okay, it's a very unique product. It's a thin metal cylinder with a type of uh, head on top. I'm not sure what type of skin it actually is, but it's a very thin skin and it has a string through it with a wooden button at the bottom to hold it, keep it from pulling through the head, and a long string on it that you take the strap that's included on the string, which takes a violin bow rosin to properly execute the sound. Knots on either side of the string keep the wooden button from going through the head of the dog bark and also keeps the material on the string. I found doing the clinics, it's just easier to take a, a damp paper towel and you run that down the length of the string in short spurts to make the barking sound. And I always say in my clinic, it's a sick dog that's barking. <laughs> the lion roar on the other side of the coin does sound very authentic and it's a larger wooden uh, circular structure with the same head over the top and a, and a rope coming up. And then you have two foot pedals on the bottom that you stand on to keep it secure while you pull up on the rope in intermittent sections to make the sound effect. As you can see, the dog bark and the lion's roar are closely related to the cuica, which makes a similar sound using the same sort of rosin system, but on a stick. Well, thank you, Bill, for that demonstration. I really appreciate you being here with us today. Well, thank you for having me. It's been a lot of fun. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the flip side. This activity is made possible by the voters of Minnesota through a grant from the East Central Regional Arts Council thanks to a legislative appropriation from the Arts and Cultural Heritage Fund.